Hey guys, it's your boy Shellshocks here. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to do the Scarlet Mastery Cathedral 1 pull. Uh, so first, you just need to walk past all these mobs, even when you start in the beginning. Just make sure you kill the first one coming in, especially if you're boosting. Helps out the guys just be able to get in the first little quarter there without pulling shit and dying. So you're just going to walk past everything, all these mobs, don't aggro anything. Just come over here, open the door, and you're just going to go right back to the beginning and uh, we'll start the pull. So the biggest thing is it's all about spacing and uh, always just keep moving trying to keep your health up and mana up as, as well too like never use stupid abilities when you don't need them really as long as you just uh, keep good spacing with a little bit of tricks here and there I'll show you you'll be good. First we're just gonna come down the hallway and we're just gonna grab these two I just use, uh, I always just keep seal light up all the time just so I can uh, just keep my health up just in case. I could dip down just a little bit. By the end of the run, it really does help. Just weaving in a couple autos here and there. So, yeah, you're just gonna come around the outside, grab all these mobs, just keep walking around the outside. Keep Make sure you're always uh, moving on a diagonal as well, like I am, you see. I'm like strafing. Strafe with like E and Q. That's how I do it. I just want to keep strafing so you can keep blocking, parrying, all that shit so you're not taking a shit ton of damage. So you're just going to keep grabbing all these mobs. The ones behind or back there will automatically just grab some of them along the way. So yeah, you're just going to keep going around. You can see the mobs back there are going to pick up that one even. Get aggroed, yep. And then these ones are going to aggro too. Just make sure you keep running a diagonal. So we're just going to come up here. So this is the part where you get your spacing really. You're going to come right up here, grab these couple. And then you just want to jump like right up here. Right to the middle. And then there you go, you got a little bit of spacing to save you some health. Make sure if you get slow just to spell instantly. Just keep going. You just want to keep good spacing and always be moving on a diagonal basically. Always strafing. It's the two biggest key things you want to keep in mind when doing this. So we're just grouping up the last ones. Just doing a outer edge. Come down, jump over so we can get our spacing. Jump over. The rest of them will get aggroed from the range. We're going to come down the waterfall, just jump down here. Just keeping our spacing. You can just wait till I get around the corner here and then you can start going back up around. So now we're going to come to the next door that we opened for ourselves all the way over there. We're just going to come back around here, jump through again. Just trying to give us as much space as we can. And then up through here, it, uh, you can try and not aggro all these. You can do it, but you have to get the right angle. Oh, there we go. I did it. Nice. So I didn't even aggro any of them. And then right when you hit the carpet here, and you come back out, you just want to bubble. So then you don't get slowed or stunned by the boss. All the mobs in there just got aggroed from the boss. So now you have everything. You just want to jump over this, give you spell spacing. Help ran out, perfect timing, like always. And you're just gonna come back up here to give yourself a little bit more spacing off these bombs. Boom. So it'll be. And then you're coming back down where the waterfall is again. And then you just want to back yourself up right up into this waterfall, and this is where you're gonna kill them. You don't have to be exactly touching it, but close to. And you just want to do seal of light, seal of wisdom, to keep mana up good. And then just keep spamming Consecrate, Trinket, do max of damage, and just make sure you keep Holy Shield up. If you get low, you can always just use a health pot, but I have uh, the Trinket that will keep me right up. So I'm just going to pop that, and you'll just see how my health just start going insanely. I'll show you the items I use after this. Basically, you just want to get everything as low as you can. Once they start dispersing out everywhere, you can just go and LOS around the corner, over here by the pillar. 
And all the range ones will start coming to you. Just keep throwing down Consecrate to kill them. Yep. If you kill the boss down here, it won't aggro the other boss to come down. But if you did want to kill the other boss and you wanted her to just get aggroed down to you, you can just kill them up and around. You just want to kill the first boss up around the corner just right up here. But yeah, I just go around the pillar down here so I don't have to deal with uh, the boss when I'm doing boosts and shit. Unless they want, unless people want you to, right? But yeah, that's it, really. It's pretty nice, uh, fun, easy run. I love doing this. I literally got my Warlock from 30 to 40 in no time. It only takes about 3 to 4 runs uh, of doing this, and you get a level. So it's pretty sweet. And that's that. That's all the mobs in here. Oh, okay, I missed one. Usually they always get mo they get pulled, but sometimes it's a little weird. Anyways, here I'll show you guys my setup here. You don't really need a certain amount of gear or anything, or or like certain stuff. You can do it without, but to not be like risky or anything, if you really want to just play it safe, make sure you get figuring the glosses. This thing you just saw like just literally saves. I was getting a bit low there. I wasn't gonna die. I've done it without this trinket, but you hit this and everything you block just heals you. So you just go up to full like no problem, and then even when you're healing, it gives you back mana as well through the, your passive and you're just chilling. The next thing, next trinket I have though, if you can get, uh, I would just suggest getting this one. Just huge amount of damage right when you're trying to kill shit. Kill it quick. You pop this and then just throw it down and consecrate and you're good to go. You can actually even hit it while consecrate is off. It still counts it even if it's already down. And uh, yeah, the other one here is this one. Uh, leave them over the eternal rest. And just more consecration damage just to help you kill shit easier and yeah it's a pretty fun easy run if you don't know where to get the key to open that door uh, back there it's just in the library go to the last boss kill him and then there's a little chest at the bot the back of him behind him grab that and you're good to go to do this so yeah that's the cathedral uh, one pull uh, Subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you guys thought about this. I'll do more soon. Thanks.